Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. They have given a set B, and we have to prove that it is not compact set in R two D, where it is a Euclidean distance. So let us start with the given information. Let me write here. We have, we have a matrix space R two D, right? Where it is a Euclidean distance, where D is the euclidean distance okay so we have a set b let me write a set b here and b is equal to xy belongs to r2 such that x into y is equal to 1 actually x into y is equal to 1 this is equation of rectangular hyperbola So let me draw the diagram so the picture will be clear to you. So this is a rectangular hyperbola. Okay. So this rectangular hyperbola is given to us, and we have to prove that it is not a compact set in R two D. Right. Let me write here to prove that. To prove that B is not compact in R two D. so one theorem is so much important here right so actually we are familiar with definition of compact set if every open cover has a finite sub cover then we say the set is compact but one result is so much important let us recall the result first and then we will start its solution right so that result is in r2d b is compact if and only if b is closed and b is bounded getting so that result is when we say the set is compact in r2d actually it is true for rnd getting r3 r4 any set you can take with a euclidean matrix obviously then this result is true if set is compact then it is closed and it is bounded or in the reverse way you can say if the set is closed and bounded you say you can say the set is compact but now here we have to prove the set is not compact that means we have to prove either it is not closed or it is not bounded if we can prove the set is not closed then we can declare it is not compact or the second option is we can prove the set is not bounded then also we can say the set is not compact so i'm going to choose the second option i am going to prove the given set is not bounded let me write here we will prove that we will prove that b is not bounded actually it is enough to prove the set is not bounded directly we can declare therefore it is not compact subset of r2d right so set is not bounded we have to prove so when we say the set is bounded let us recall the definition so if you have any set and if you want to prove it is bounded we have to prove that it is subset of one ball with center 0 0 radius r for some r greater than 0 if you can prove b is subset of such ball we can declare b is bounded but here what we have to prove we have to prove that it is not bounded that means we have to prove that b is not subset of such ball for every r greater than 0 this thing we have to prove okay so if we can prove this one then we can declare it is not bounded so let me mention here therefore therefore we have to prove that we have to prove that b is not a subset of any ball with center 0 0 and radius r for all r greater than 0 right so let me remove this part so we will have some more space to write just a minute ha huh? just yeah diagram also we have understood the set so diagram is also not required now uh yes let us go further so tell me how we can prove first set is subset of other how we prove the one set is subset of second the technique is we take any arbitrary point from the set and we prove that that point is in second set also then we say the a subset of b for any p belongs to a you should have p belongs to b then we can say a subset of b but here we have to prove the set is not subset 
that means we have to prove that a is not subset of b now the question is how to prove this one the technique is quite simple we have to find some point p belongs to a but p does not belongs to b then we can say a is not subset of b so this thing we have to follow getting so we have to find one point which is in b but which is not in ball then we can say b is not subset of b okay so let us start to do so i am going to select one point okay oh, okay before that what will i do let r greater than 0 be given i am taking any r any positive real number right here also we want for every r greater than 0 so that's why i am selecting any r greater than 0 so with the help of that i am choosing one point let x y the point is r 1 by r obviously it is element of r2 so belongs to r2 so if you compare you can easily see here value of x is r and the value of y is value of y is 1 by r right so in this way we got the value of x and y so i have chosen one point so i will prove it is in b but it is not in ball okay so when we can say it is in b it should satisfy the condition of b let us check whether that point satisfy the con this condition of b or not so let us consider x into y what is value of x r into what is value of r y sorry 1 by r so r and 1 by r will get cancelled and we will have 1 so finally what we get x into y is equal to 1 condition is satisfied so that's why we can say this point x y belongs to b so therefore therefore that point x y belongs to b so finally we got one point which is in b so now we will prove that it is not in a ball what will i do i will find the distance of point from the center of ball let us check so consider what i am going to do i am going to find the distance of that point point is x y from the center of ball what is the center of ball 0 0 so as they mentioned it is a euclidean distance so we know the formula of euclidean distance square root of first component minus first component square plus second component minus second component square so x minus 0 means x simply so simply you can write x square plus y square so what is value of x we can put here r square value of y 1 by r so we will have 1 by r square so if you drop if you remove 1 by r square the value will get increased getting sorry reduced so it will be greater than square root of r square so by removing that 1 by r square so value will reduce getting so it's a positive real number so if you not add value will decrease so that's why this one square square root will get cancelled and we will have r so what we get finally let us write the conclusion we were finding distance of x y from 0 0 and finally what we got greater than r r means the radius of that ball get it so distance of any point from the center of ball is greater than the radius it means point lies outside let me draw the diagram to clear the picture if you have a center of ball and balls such ball we have if you have any point p outside the ball then distance is greater than radius if point p lies inside a ball then this distance distance of point and origin or the center of ball is less than the radius and if point p lies on a ball then the distance from center is exactly equal to its radius so what we get the distance is greater than radius that means point lies outside i'm going to write this thing just to make a screenshot of it so therefore we can conclude here okay what can we write therefore point x y does not belong to ball with center 0 0 radius r so finally we got a point which is in b but which is not in ball so therefore we can declare b is not a subset of a ball with center 0 0 radius r so here r is any radius r greater than 0 be given r can be anything so that's why it is true for all r greater than 0 
so therefore we can declare therefore b is not bounded in r2d see to set uh, compact in r2d the set should be closed and it should be bounded but say this set is not bounded so that's why we can say therefore it is not compact so therefore b is not compact in r2d in r2d so in this way we proved okay in this way we proved that given set b is not compact in r2d where d is a euclidean distance solution is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you